So as some of you may know, I've made a couple videos on gold in the past. Today, I want to make a video on silver, and I want to do five reasons why I think silver is majorly undervalued. So reason number one is that silver has not kept up with inflation. In 1979, silver was $5. Now it is at $30 US dollars per ounce. However, the US M2 money supply in the same amount of time has gone up over 10 times, meaning the fair value for silver, keeping up with the M2 money supply inflation, would be $50 today. However, I have more reasons as to why silver should be even higher than $50 per ounce. So reason number two kind of ties into reason number one, and that is the silver reserves are running out, the mining reserves. Supply and demand dictates the price, and obviously there's a lot more supply now than there was in 1979. This means that, yes, silver has more than kept up with the demand. However, once those reserves start running out in 2028, there's going to be a major supply crisis driving the price through the roof. Reason number three, and silver is used in a lot of applications, don't get me wrong. However, this is a very vital application. Silver is used in data centers such as YouTube data center. The data center that this video is stored on right now is using up silver. However, there's going to be way more data centers built in the future if the current trends keep up, which I imagine they will, especially with this new AI revolution. We're going to need a lot more data centers. So... Yeah, these data centers use up silver, which obviously ties into the demand. Reason number four is that the banks and the governments are heavily undervaluing silver. Now, all these governments are buying gold. All these banks are buying gold as it was the reserve currency at one point, And it is known for um, being a good store of value against inflation. However, they are heavily undervaluing silver a lot of them aren't buying silver a lot of them like the governments the banks they aren't buying silver and this is a major mistake that i think once the reserves start running low they will realize and there will be a major demand shock as well as a supply shock last but not least reason number five and this is probably the most obvious one but the u.s debt keeps rising at an alarming rate now as some of you may know the u.s debt is nearly at 35 trillion now However, this isn't the important number as GDP keeps rising. So a lot of economists say that the GDP is rising with the debt level. However, this is incorrect. This is why it's more accurate to look at the debt to GDP ratio. And if we look at the debt to GDP ratio over the past 20 years, it's gotten absurdly high. And considering that interest payments year on year keep getting higher and higher, the debt to GDP ratio is gonna grow faster and faster. This is a debt spiral that the US is in. And this is a major, major issue for the United States dollar. Um, not to mention lots of countries such as Russia and China are ditching the US dollar reserves. So lots of this money, lots of this inflation, this extra M2 money supply is gonna funnel into gold and in turn silver. Anyways, that's just my two cents. Thanks for watching. Take care.